Well, if you didn't hate flying, you definitely would have after this episode. <laughs> Hey guys, this is my review for episode 4 of the first season of Supernatural, continuing my retro reviews of all uh, Supernatural episodes leading up to the present one. This was The Phantom Traveler. Now this episode really set the bar for what could be done to normal humans. And from what we had seen, we would seen monsters before, or ghosts. This one was something possessing a human. And literally it was Supernatural's version of The Exorcist, except on a plane. So. What happened in this episode is that a plane crashed uh, due to a guy literally ripping the safety door off while in mid-flight, which is impossible. So every one of the survivors, the only nine or a few of them, are tr kind of traumatized at the idea. One guy even uh, submits himself into a mental hospital because he can't believe what he saw, which is something I thought was kind of interesting. The idea that he put himself in. Now this isn't a huge part of the episode, but I thought that was a creative spin on the writing. While we are taking a stereotype idea that a person's in a mental hospital, the fact that he self-submitted him, I don't know, I've always thought that was an interesting writing twerk that was done in this episode. What was interesting is at the very beginning of this episode, we saw something between the two brothers that they don't really freaking do anymore, was they talked about what was going on. Sam is obviously not able to sleep, he's having nightmares about what happened to Jess, and they actually talk about it, and Dean tells him that, you know, you can't let this get to you, otherwise it'll ruin you. We finally see what the boys are really capable of in terms of going undercover to get into certain areas. They pretend to be NTSB agents, and they get monkey suits and everything. I liked it because it reminded me of the Blues Brothers. I swear all they had to do was get a hat on and some uh, sunglasses, and I would totally have thought that. After the crash, though, they start to see that people are dying, and then at one point they find that there's one survivor left of the original plane crash. Turns out that this demon is wanting to, it's kind of this is when demons followed a track record or had uh, their similar traits to that of a ghost. Like they followed the same sort of ideals. Like this demon was just being a, a jerk, but he was being very precise about who he wanted to die. The part that's obviously most remembered about this episode is the part with the confrontation on the plane. Now this was kind of cool, doing an exorcism on a plane, then the demon getting into the plane, and then they had to complete the exorcism and a lightning bolt hit the plane and just saved everyone. In the Dead in the Water episode, I also said for people to make comments about the next episode. So we have one from Rob Hanna that says, The next episode of Phantom Traveler, the introduction of demons, was cheesy, but a lot scarier than they are now. And also, it was a pretty awesome product placement for WestJet and Air Canada. I don't know if anyone else noticed that. To be honest, I didn't truly either, but I know where this was. I know it definitely it was in YVR, and if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, the last shot with the brothers sitting by the car and listening to their phone was by Abbotsford Airport? But I could be wrong. Either way, this episode did set a dynamic for how demons came about, like this weird sort of particle, not smoke, it was like particles. Either that was how they wanted to do it, or they couldn't afford full-on smoke. Either way, I like this episode. It has a funny elements to it. It has a, probably one of the scariest ideas. I like flying, I don't mind it, but I thought this was a really cool idea of doing an exorcism on a plane. I like the aspects of the episode. Also, it's super duper memorable. Everything up until is kind of meh, but it's really that final climax that everyone really remembers and talks about. So in the end, I'm going to give this episode a 5 out of 7. I like the Phantom Traveler. Admittedly, how demons are set up now as compared to this episode, they matured. They were scarier, definitely, but they were also really cheesy with like the demon voice and everything. That was kind of, that threw me off, really. So I like and don't like how the demons have progressed in terms of how this one was. This one was scary, but it was also kind of cheesy. Either way, that's my thought on that. Next episode is Bloody Mary, so make sure to put a comment down below about what you liked or didn't like or whatever you remember about the Bloody Mary episode, and I'll make sure to talk about it. Anyway, guys, that's all for me. I'll see you guys next time.